Welcome to Ender Academy, the first episode in this series thing that I decided to do because I felt like it. And today we are going to try to survive the Stone Age in this crazy custom mod pack that I have decided to assemble. Um, currently, the Ender Academy is a crappy cave in a crappy cliff in the middle of a jungle, in the middle of nowhere. And that skeleton is eyeing me up, and I don't like it. All these skeletons all over the place, they've just been trying to give me the feels through loving, caressing arrows. Oh, see? Right there. Exactly what I'm talking about. This is not how you treat your neighbor. <sighs> Mr. Rogers would be ashamed of you. Ah! That failed so bad. Okay. Ow. Maybe I should have used the boomerang. Tactical. <laughs> Tactical thoughts are not exactly at the top of my brain pan list right now. I'm still just trying to figure out uh, how to how to eat. Currently, I've been surviving off of these really weird radishes. I'd like to get something better than that. But yeah, there's my little house. I got chests full of some stuff. Some stuff. Get rid of the not items. More stuff. Here's Yorick. I've got a mine shaft leading down all the way over here. Haven't found many interesting things, but if you watched my intro video, which you probably should, because I'm not really going to explain much right now, um, if you watch my intro, you'll see that I dug down to here, this little mine shaft. I have not explored it yet, but I will. And also, I continued digging further down and started doing my typical branch mining thing. And ooh, I guess I didn't pick this up. Redstone! So what are we going to be doing here? I called this the Ender Academy, named after me, because I am a theoretically classy Enderman with an arrow embedded in my splanch! No! I'll fix that later. Eat some radishes. Um, well, my idea for this series is that I will do stuff for reasons, and it'll be kind of cool. That was the best description I could come up with. Yeah. So, but before we do any of that amazing stuff that I just mentioned just now, we need to get geared up a little bit. We're going to do magic, and then some science, and then some magical science, and scientific magic. But first we need to farm wheat on an underground farm. Because for some reason, underground farms are just the best. And I harvested that wrong. In case you have never heard of Harvest Craft, this is Harvest Craft, developed by someone named Pan, apparently. The idea is that you harvest, and then you craft. Yeah. So clearly food is a very important part of the universe, and me, and also of Minecraft. So right now I'm gonna show you how to make some soup. Time saving transition! So, I've been stockpiling rice and peas. Now hopefully somehow I'll be able to make a kind of disgusting soup with that stuff. Yeah. But first we'll need to actually make it into food, and to do that we will need a mixing pot, which is wood and sticks, and we will need a normal pot, a pot pot, which is iron and sticks. Hopefully the crafting recipe for this works. Yep, a pot pot! And a mixing bowl. It's essentially a bowl with a stick so you can mix. Bam! Cooking implements! This is the most exciting adventure! Welcome to Ender Academy. Today I will teach you how to make soup. So first you need the stock. This is important in all soup making. That should make a ton of stock. Holy crap, so much stock. And I put it with the rice. I get the rice soup and I am so glad that that stacked. Awesome. So, now I won't need to subsist off of these weird camping craft radishes. Ugh. So, let's just put the dishes on the little bibliocraft shelves. I've got a lot of mods installed. I'm gonna be straight with you folks, and you, Yorick. I've got maybe too many mods. Oh, that's where my other boomerang went. I guess I have two boomerangs now. Anyway. Uh, Forge tells me it's about 90. Really, in reality, it's closer to about 60-something. And they're all mixed up among technical mods, scientific mods, 
world gen mods, basic adventuring mods that let me cool do, do cool stuff like dual wielding, and lots of utility mods that just add in, you know, like extra fences. And yeah, oh, and also, you know, decoration stuff like this, you know, the works. As we go on, I might need to remove some mods that cause problems or add mods that cause awesomeness because awesomeness is a thing that I am a fan of. I need to put the stock away. Is there a bone in my soup? Where the heck did that come from? I'm not sure I approve of this situation. Well, I'm starting to talk to myself. I mean, Yorick isn't much of a conversation piece, so I think it's time, first of all, to get a good night's rest because it's night on outside. And Skellingtons, they do not do very good nighttime serenades. They usually involve twang, thud, ow, splanch. But yeah, I'm already losing my mind. I need to, I need to like somehow make friends or something. This is going to be hard. To make friends, you need sugar cane. So I'm gonna go get sugar cane. My second in the series of time-saving transitions. While we're on the subject of losing my mind, why am I making these videos? Last time I counted, there are 10 quadrillion Minecraft Let's Plays on YouTube, and there's kind of no point to it. Well, the answer to that question is, yes, I know that there's no point, and yeah, I, I just want to do this, because it's a lot of fun. Oh, this is a weird thing I found. It is a hovering faintly glowing orb in space. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just kind of bright thing right here that you can kind of see when you move around and you can't place blocks on it. I think it's an aura node from Thomcraft. I think it's magic. I built this little plinth for it. I've got no clue, but I didn't think that you'd be able to see aura nodes with the naked eye, so we'll see about that later. Hmm. Anyway, I got some reeds, sugar cane, oh, boomerang time. B -b 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 boomerang! Oh, that was so depressing. I missed! The boomerang didn't come back. Oh, Cthulhu protect me! Oh, now there's two creepers guarding my boomerang. I have another one. Screw you, creepers. I don't need my stinking boomerang. I'm sorry, Boomerang. I will miss you. Oh, that was far from heroic or classy. I'll be back for you if you don't despawn, which you probably will. Ha! <laughs> oh, this is getting off to a great start. Sheep, what you doing on cliff? Sticking face in dirt. What? Nom 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 nom. Finish it off with a rash. Nom nom nom. Okay, so now we've got sugar canes, and I can make myself a friend. I... That makes paper. We need leather. Do we have leather? No, but we have this disgusting, horrible, horrible flesh that I found somewhere. And thanks to Pam Simple Recipes mod, we can make leather out of flesh. Thanks, Pam. Boop. Now, I'm gonna make a book, because I'm gonna be making a lot of books. The Ender Academy, I've decided, is going to have a lot of different wings to it. It's going to have a library, it's going to have a laboratory, it's going to have a lounge area, it's going to have an SCP containment unit, a moon base, a mage tower. It's, it's going to be great. Totally. Oh, here's my other boomerang. Old boomerang, you've been replaced. Okay, so I've got all this stuff here. What I'm going to do is make with the stuff that I got a fam guide. Not a fam family guide, it's a familiar guide. And if I open this guy up, current familiar, none equipped. This is the familiars mod. And if I browse through this list, there's a whole list of familiars that I can unlock. Problem is to unlock most of them, um, it costs XP. I only have 12, so I don't want a squid. I do not want a squid. Let's see what I can afford. Companion cube? Um, 7 XP? 
player can walk on lava. Enderman, clearly that's the one I would want, but it's really expensive. Um, annoys you when diamonds or emeralds are nearby. Plus 7 XP. Uh, I am trying to mine diamonds right now. And you know, I could always just get a better one later, but I don't know. Everyone knows about this thing. Yeah. 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 Unlock. Okay. Equip. Done. Where is it? So familiars are just like little things that float over your shoulder all the time. So now I've got Navi. What have I done? Okay. So that'll be useful for mining. Now this the fam guide, I don't know what, it's not just called the familiar guide. Um, it now lets me manage that kind of stuff. So that's going to be great. Except I can already tell that it's going to be annoying to have this little fairy thing levitating around all the time. But no matter. It's about the utility of the thing. So I'm going to go down into my branch mine and see if it quote unquote annoys me if there are diamonds or emeralds nearby. I wonder if it just freaks out whenever there's a villager around. If it just senses the emeralds crammed into the villagers' extra-dimensional pockets. Hey, listen. Oh my hey, god. Listen. Oh my god, Rick Gryffindor. Hey, listen. What have I done? No! No! Hey, Get listen. away! Get away! Get away! Hey. No! <sighs> okay. So... Um, we'll mine later. For now, maybe it would be a good idea to explore this abandoned mine shaft filled with monsters. Because that sounds much more pleasant. So, I'm gonna get a bit tooled up. Currently, I have no armor save for my classy business suit. And that, as we have seen, clearly demonstrated, does not provide a lot of protection. So, I'll make a chest plate and some pantaloons. Looney pants. There we go. That will hopefully keep me from being too horribly arrowed. Huh. I have a pickaxe and a lit torch. How do I have a lit torch hanging upside down from my belt? That makes no science. Um, I'm just gonna pretend that doesn't exist. Put away this cobblestone in the wrong chest. <laughs> uh, oh, gosh. Okay, rice soup, radish, got everything I need, except for a shovel. I'll make an iron shovel. In fact, while I'm making stuff, I'm also going to make myself better weapons than my stone sword axe combo. Yeah, that's not the greatest, not the greatest combo, I must say. So, what are we going to make instead? Well, because I want to be a samurai when I grow up. Oh, that's a skillet. This is supposed to be the recipe for a katana, but instead it's it's a skillet. So, once again, I've been having a lot of problems with the recipe compatibility. So I'll fix that later and just make a normal set of swords. I get, oh, or I can make a sword and shield. Sword and board tactics. Sounds like the best thing ever. Why are my, why are my fists just like, why do I have both hands out? Blah, 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 blah. That's amazing. Okay, so how do I make a shield? Well, we can look it up. Shield, what kind of shield do I want? A wooden shield, that looks not that great. A hide shield, I do have leather, so hide shield it is. This really is like mountain blade. Where did all my leather go? I made it into pants. I'm gonna make more leather and not make my more leather into more pants. Because I don't need more pants. I need leather. Alas, poor Yorick. I found thee in a pile of bones beneath the cold gray earth. You are creepy. I sat you on my desk. My leather's done. Enough to make a shield. I have never actually used a shield, so... This is going to go amazingly well. Put away all my stuff that I don't need. 
And currently I have my key to open this little menu assigned to H. So there we go. I now have, does it show up on my back? Yes, it does. That's pretty cool. So, okay, how does this work? I can block and I have a little timer. It slowly recharges. Okay, and that reduces the amount of damage that I take. So, I'd say we are ready to Royal Rumble with the ragamuffins of the Down Under. Crikey! Let's do this! Okay, here we are. Got some stalactites and stalagmites. The tights are up here, the mites down there. We're men. We're men of stalactites and stalagmites! This all looked a lot cooler with the 3D's blocks mod thing, but that tanked my frame rate, so I needed to disable it after my intro video. Okay. Well, I've got a bucket, so I can neutralize this. We're looking for lots of iron. I say just as I find iron. Whew! Alright. And we're also looking for chests with cool things in them, hopefully. And I am reticent to turn on Navi because there's not going to be any diamonds or emeralds at this elevation. So I have no reason to need that frickin' frackin' demonic abomination. So good. Everything's good. That's just, just, just wonderful. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig around this. So, lesson number uh, 12 billion of Ender Academy is that these glowing things are elemental shards, these shards. These specific ones are, you guessed it, water, because water is definitely inherently blue and does not just get that color occasionally from reflecting the sky. You heard it from me, folks. These mushrooms are really cool. That's lesson 12 billion and two. Oh, lesson 12 billion and three. These are bone piles. I got a bone. That's also where I got Yorick from, and some other stuff. Generally, it's just cobblestone. Ooh, plenty of iron. We will make it out of the Stone Age yet, I say, while I'm wearing iron armor, which clearly never existed in the Stone Age. Ooh, and now we're on to lesson, uh, lesson, what's a big number? Two. Um, we got two of the tin ore, which is completely useless to us right now because we're, as I said, in the Stone slash Iron Age. Tin is not going to be really useful until much later when we can make Kanzo food. By the way, in case you did not watch my intro video, which you really should have, because it explains what the heck's going on here, um, this mod pack that I have created, ooh, Cinnabar, um, this mod pack that I have created is not public. Ow! And it never will be. Ow! Okay, I get the point. Don't stand in front of your serenade arrows. Jeez. But yeah, why won't it ever be public? Well, because most of the mod owners don't give those kinds of permission. Because you need permissions to include other people's creative content into a publicly distributed mod pack. Yo. So, yeah. However, it can be privately distributed, so... Oh, there you are. Come on, shoot me. You know you want to. Come on. Come on. Go for it. Oh, I, I blocked too slowly. Okay. But anyway, it can be privately distributed by me. So maybe in the future I could have, like, guests on the show. I don't know. This is currently just me sitting in a cave talking to myself like I'm going crazy. But a man, hey, a man can dream, right? And also an Enderman can dream. Rails! Oh! Those are the poisons. I don't like the poisons. I'm gonna neutralize the poisons! Die, poisons! Whew! Okay, I really did not need a cave spider incident. There's one still alive down there. I'm not gonna throw my boomerang at it. Whew! Okay, well, this gives us a big collection of string is fantastic. And some more XP to buy a different, better, non-satanic familiar. Which is always, always advisable, kids. Don't, don't have satanic familiars. Ender Academy School Lesson number nine million. And, and one. 
October 9 million. These giant glow-in-the-dark mushrooms are suspiciously convenient. I am wary of anything that doesn't try to kill me in Minecraft, because it seems like everything wants to kill me. Even my familiars. Through method of lethal madness. This entire cavern looks kind of cool, but not feeling equipped enough to explore it. I've gotten... how much iron? 35! That's plenty to get going. I can make new tools, some more armor, better pants. This is gonna be great. I think we have officially entered into what we can call a kind of pathetic iron age, which I'm happy about. Ooh, more iron. There we go. Getting less pathetic by the second. Trademark. <laughs> Oop, gas. Gas, there's gas on the ceiling. Do you see that, guys? The stuff right here? That's gas. Here, if I mine a little block out, it'll fill up that little gap. Ugh. I think it's smoke. Whew. Also not sure what that sonar sound was. Anyway. I guess I'm done down here. I mean, I don't think there's anything else down here that I really want. Except for, you know, other stuff over here that I completely didn't notice, because I'm not blind. Let's not get burned by lava when we mine that other stuff. Oh, crap. There goes my lava water bucket, my lava neutralization kit. And you can see it just turned into steam. That's fantastic. What's this? Sulfur? Sulfur? Is it sulfur? Tell me it's sulfur. It's sulfur. What can I use sulfur for? I can make gunpowder now. Ooh. That's cool. Sulfur is really cool. Awesome. But I can't get any more of it because there's too much lava in the way, unless I can somehow neutralize the lava. Come on, lava. Be neutralized. There we go. Got it. Sorted. I'm a wizard. Ah! Whoa! Get the sword out. Get the sword out. Lock. Ha! That was a weird sound. Also, sorry about that, buddy. Maybe you will become Yorick one day. Huh. Okay. I think we're done down here because my iron pick broke. Huh. 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 Gotcha. Ha! I will tan your hide into leather. Because that is not horrifically disturbing. Okay. Radish. We are getting topside if we can find our way. This has been a successful mission. Whoa. Didn't realize how many of those I ate. These rad eye radishes, plural, are kind of bugged and that you could just keep eating them even after you are completely full. So, a little weird. I'm still uncertain about the whole camping mod because the camping part of the camping mod is pretty cool, but the non-camping parts of the camping mod are not cool. But, I'll probably keep it up. Ah, no, 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 no! Um... And again, so parts of the vanilla game aren't particularly cool either. So, maybe it all balances out. I'll see you guys back at the top. We made it! Back to our staircase! So, we've got more elemental shards, we've got iron, We've got prospects, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, say Yorick, look at this yellow shard. I'm gonna put it on my shelf, say. Yeah, entropy shard. Increase the entropy in the elements. Yeah, say. Radioactive isotopes. Where did I get glowstone from? What? That's weird. Well, anyway, I got a ton of iron, which I am gonna smelt. And I've got a bit of gold. Bit of copper, bit of tin, you know, standard mining fare. Cinnabar, no one, no one loves you, Cinnabar. G go home. Got sulfur too. I'm sorry, Cinnabar, I was too harsh. Like, maybe three people love you. They don't live here. Okay, well, my lime trees are growing my cocoa beans. This is great, this is normal. Trust me, guys, nothing weird happening here. And it looks like it has been a successful not dying day here in Ender Academy, in the middle of a jungle, stranded here, all alone. 
with nothing but my demonic Cthulhu-esque familiar. Yeah. I'm keeping my eye on you, blue glowing freak. Anyway, I will see you all next time in about a week or so. Goodbye! Whoop. Every time.